so this is my tutorial for you on making your value painting of the egg. So let's just review the, the panel. The panel was a piece of masonite. The other tutorial shows you how to prepare it properly for this painting. And three coats of acrylic gesso and then a stain created from titanium white and ivory black oil paint that was liquefied to quite a liquid um, state with odorless mineral spirits uh, brushed onto the panel and then um, smoothed out with a clean rag. On my palette here I have the same titanium white and ivory black. First of all, you'll notice that on my palette right now I have all my other colors covered up with aluminum foil. That is a great trick and something which you should really employ. You can use aluminum or you can use cling wrap. Um, you can also, if you have a palette um, at home, you can actually put your palette into the freezer and that will help to keep your oil paint from skinning over. The way oil paint dries, if we haven't covered this, I I'm making these videos very far in advance, so I don't know if we're gonna, what we're going to cover or what we've covered up to this point. But the way that oil paint dries is that it oxidizes from the outside in, inwards. So um, even if your oil paint does become hard on the outside, you can use a palette knife to remove the skin and get to the good paint that's still on the inside. Um, so a couple of notes since this is the first video demonstration. Uh, I'm going to be using some different types of shapes of brushes. Uh, I have round brushes. This is a number 10 round brush which I'm going to use as my drawing brush. And then I have some flat brushes. We have a number 8 and a number 6 flat brush. Throughout the course I'm also going to cover with you um, the different shapes of brushes and what they're used for. So you have round brushes, uh, flat brushes, filberts, cat's tongue, and fan brushes. So um, the bulk of the drawing for the, the painting I'm going to do with the round brush and then when I start applying the materials I'm going to start using my flats. The, our goal for this painting is not to be experimenting with brush strokes and brush marks. I want everything to be very smooth and um, just to really experience working with the paint. A lot of teachers won't have you purchase black at all. Um, my suggestion to you has been to purchase a tube of black between like three or four of you because you're not going to use it much after we move on from value. But I also use black in my studio and um, the banishment of black from the palette for painters is really a result of impressionist uh, theories and thinking. Uh, I, I go through periods of time when I like to use black and I don't like to use black. You can make a very nice black by mixing ultramarine blue and burnt umber and basically what you're doing is you're creating like a cancelled out uh, dull kind of color. Um, but you know, Franz Halls used a lot of black and if it was okay for Franz Halls, I'm going to say it's okay for me too. Once we move away from value though, I'm going to make sure that you are really aware of the differences between using pure black and, and mixing your own black. So if you haven't done so, you should go watch the beginning of the egg drawing tutorial because it talks about the purpose of using the egg as an introductory form. And um, the same thinking for me applies here with the painting. So um, let's get set up to do some painting.